Hey everyone, what's going on? Dr. Iron Bat Prime 2.0 back again with this new video. And as you hit this new video, this is my full reveal on my Rorschach cosplay, which I completed not too long ago. Uh, it has been uh, like a little over a week since the uh, since the comic book show I went to pass, and uh, I got to bring out my Rorschach cosplay. Uh, wearing this cosplay was super good, and enjoyable, and I'm a massive Watchmen fan, and Rorschach is one of my favorite like anti-heroes and characters in the world of comic books. And, uh, well, I did do Rorschach cosplay a long time ago, but now I finally just want to revisit this cosplay, and I finally want to just finally want to do a reveal and show you guys how I did this cosplay, because... Again, like, I enjoyed wearing this cosplay, and it was a bit tricky, and there was a little bit of error, but here's how I made my Rorschach cosplay. So I'm going to start from bottom to top, and a uh, big reveal in the end. So here's uh, the shoes. So as for the shoes, these are what they are. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of the brand. Uh, I believe they're called a Goodfellow. Uh, but here's the before and after, because this is not what the shoes looked like when I first got them. So here's the before and after look with the shoes, and I pretty much just did some weathering on just, uh, well, using brown shoe polish all over the shoe just to make it a little more dirty and kind of sort of similar to what he wears. And all that, and a little more accurate to what Rorschach wore. And, well, I don't know what kind of shoes Rorschach wore in the comics or movies, but yeah, this is the best I could work with, and these were pretty easy to find. I found them at Target, and again, just weathered them up, and well, that's the shoes. Now, as for the pants, that was a bit of a, well, almost tricky thing for me to find. Well, I mean, here's what they are, and this is what uh, he wears. I mean, because if you look, because, well, translation, these are actually purple pinstripe pants, and the reason I went for these as well because if you look closely in the comics and in the movies, well, he pretty much has a thing for wearing purple pinstripe pants. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a, almost a tricky thing for me to find. Again, I want to be as accurate as I could. And uh, I got these at a, uh, at a costume store that's uh, like literally 20 minutes away from me. And uh, the brand is actually called uh, uh, fun.com. Well, that's what, uh, well, that's what it says right here, but yeah, and these are actually based off of the uh, Heath Ledger Joker, so not really Rorschach from the comics or movies, but hey, I really like the design, and you can find, find a pair of these on like Amazon or eBay or just anywhere online, and I just also wore a brown belt just to loop around, but yeah, that's the pants, and again, that's what Rorschach wore, wore in, well, the movie and all that, and so as for the trench coat, Here's what it is, and here's what it looks like. Uh, I got this on Amazon, and I'll admit it was a bit expensive, but here's the before look. I mean, here's what the trench coat looked like when I first got it, and again, this came from Amazon, and this was the before look when I bought it. So, I pretty much just, well, loop this around, well, my waist, and put it in a knot, and not strap it, because that's what Rorschach does in the movie. But also, I didn't really do much. All I did was, uh, well, I'll admit, he does have a bit of a loop on, well, on this side of his shoulder. And, well, I pretty much just looped it at a tad bit of glue right here just to make sure it stays like this. Because that's what it's like in the comics. That's what it's like in the movie. And under this, I'm just wearing, well, a plain white t-shirt. Because I honestly don't know what he wore, like, under his trench coat. But... I didn't want to get too crazy hot or anything, but yeah, that's just my way. But also one of the buttons right here, well, it did come off. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, find a new button and just put it right here. But yeah, that's that's the trench coat. And this was probably the most expensive part of the cosplay. So two little things that were added. Well, here's the scarf. Uh, this is pretty much just a plain white scarf that he wears. And uh, I'll admit it was pretty long, like I'll admit, uh, it probably went up to like 20 feet or something, but yeah, it, it was really long, so I cut it down a bit just so it would wrap around my neck. Because if you look closely in the movie, he does wear a white scarf, and this was like on Amazon as well. And same goes for these uh, $5 gloves, they, they came from Amazon, and well, 
Here's what they look like. Uh, I forgot the brand, but this is just my version, my take, and yeah, I just really like how these turned out, and uh, yeah, these are pretty much the cheapest part of the cosplay. Again, $5 on Amazon. I saw them, and I thought they would be perfect. And yeah, same goes for a scarf, Amazon, and yeah, that's those are two of the little things, so on to the next two things. And of course, you can't be Rorschach without the mask, and also the fedora. Now, as for the mask, well, Rorschach's face. Had to and wanted to, plus I freaking love the movie. Uh, this, uh, this actually came from a, I think it was called Inkscape, and, uh, you can find one of these masks, like, anywhere on, like, Amazon or eBay, online, and, yeah, it, it does have a way of changing its face, and, like, whenever you're breathing, like, hot or cold, the face does change up a bit, so, yeah, it does that, mm, mm, judging by, well, you're breathing when you have the mask on. And I could see very well, I'll admit, it is, uh, I'm blind as a bat if, well, if you have this on and it's super, and it's very dark, but when it's super light, I could see very well. So, yeah, the mask, well, I really like how it turned out and is perfect. And uh, as for the fedora, I got this on, well, I got this on eBay for like 20 bucks, and uh, I really like how it turned out and, uh, well, if you're gonna be Rorschach, you gotta find the right fedora, and yeah, I I don't know what kind he wore in the movie or what kind that it looked. It was in the comics, but this was the best I could find and look for. But it was like again twenty dollars on eBay, and I like how it turned out. Plus, I like fedoras, so why not? And as for the bonus part, and just for fun, if you wanted to, well, add a little extra. I got this button just to go on the uh, trench coat. This came from e from Etsy, and uh, yeah, I really like how it turned out. It has that blood splat right there, comedian's button. I mean, I feel like all Watchmen cosplayers gotta have this just to, well, for the comedian's sake. But I got this on Etsy, and I will leave a link down below because I got like a pack of, well, uh, just a small pack of like three of these. You can pass a few, couple of them on to my friends. And yeah, I kept this one myself just for fun and just for the cosplay. And uh, as for the grappling gun, well, this was actually a Nerf gun that I painted up myself. And I did do a YouTube video a while back on like how I painted up and all that. But here's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, finding the grappling gun meh, is, well, a pretty hard thing to do. So, but I'm happy with this. And uh, link is down below if you want to know how I painted this up, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the grappling gun, and again, the bonus parts if you want to get a little more detailed-ish. And now, without further ado, here's the big reveal of my Rorschach cosplay, but also, link is down below if you want to see my experience on me wearing it at the comic book show, so yeah, plus I'll admit I did win second place in the cosplay contest wearing this, so yeah, and again, Full reveal, here it is.